Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 145 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together, and I'm so glad that you've joined us on the journey for today. I am just about to go and catch a flight out of Adelaide back to Melbourne, so I am super excited to be with you, but also super hoping that I catch my flight in time. So this might be a bit of a quick devotion today, but some of the things that really spoke to me out of our passages of scripture that we've been reading through is out of John chapter 15 and verse 4 to 5 where it says remain in me as I also remain in you no branch can bear fruit by itself it must remain in the vine neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me I am the vine and you are the branches if you remain in me and I in you you will bear much fruit apart from me you cannot do anything the thing that really spoke to me out of this passage of scripture is that if we focus on remaining, if we focus on abiding in Jesus Christ, then he will focus on producing. When we focus on remaining, he focuses on producing. We can only produce fruit in our lives when we remain in Jesus, when we abide in Jesus. If we're trying to conjure up our own fruit, it is not going to be lasting fruit and it is not going to be much fruit. You know, this passage of scripture tells us if we want to bear much fruit, if we want to bear fruit, uh, if we want to bear lasting fruit, we need to remain in him. So this morning, I pray that we would uh, focus on remaining in him and abiding in him. And as we do that, I believe that we're going to see much fruit produced in and through our lives. Um, also, I... Um, Loved 1 Samuel 16 verse 7. It's a classic sort of passage where we see uh, David being anointed by Samuel uh, where it says, But the Lord, in verse 7, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Uh, we see that Samuel wanted to anoint all of the different brothers of um, David who he thought looked good. They were impressive to man. He was like, yep, this is the one. They're impressive. But God says, hey, what's impressive to man is not necessarily impressive to me. What's impressive to me is a heart after me. I see the heart. I look at the heart. I don't look at the things that man looks at. I look at the internal things. I look at the spiritual things. And so I was just in courage today not to focus on the things that are impressive to man in my life not to um not to have um not to put so much time and attention into those things and sort of in a in a wrong way sort of out of balance um not focus on uh pleasing god with my heart and and attending to god with the things in my heart so i know when i when i spend time in the presence of god and when my heart is clean before him when my heart is open to him when i'm saying god i just want the things that you want god speak to me god uh, let me go deeper with you god i want the things that you want in my life as i'm spending time tending to my heart i know Know that God is going to tend to those things that are impressive to man, to that anointing that David received. So uh, let's not focus our time and our attention on the things that are impressive on externally, but let's focus our time and attention on those things that are impressive to God internally, focusing on the heart, focusing on our, the condition of our heart before God, knowing that that's what brings the greater anointing. That's what brings the greater fruit in our life. And so I'm excited to pray for us today, my friend. I'd love to pray pray firstly that we would abide in him that we would abide in Jesus Christ we would stay in the vine we would stay connected to the vine we would lean into him and I would love to pray secondly that we would be people who would be focusing on tending to our heart today tending to our heart before God how is my heart before God what does God see when he sees my heart does he see a judgmental bitter unforgiving heart or does he see a humble um, clean heart pure heart before him pure in motive pure in desire does he see a clean heart and if he doesn't let's um let's ask him to make our hearts clean to purify us to help us to tend to our heart today and and make our hearts 
um, impressive to him today. So God, I just thank you for my friend today. I thank you for the opportunity that we have to just spend time in your word, Lord. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would help us just to abide and remain in Jesus today, Lord God. Thank you that as we focus on abiding, as we focus on remaining, God, you focus on producing. You, you focus on the fruit that comes out of our lives, Lord God. Thank you that we don't have to stir up or muster up the fruit on our own, God, but as we focus on remaining, in you the fruit is produced much fruit is produced and God I pray as well that we wouldn't just be people who would be curating a life that is impressive to man because God we know that you're anointing doesn't just seek those things that are impressive to man but your anointing seeks a heart that is humble before you a heart that is for you a heart that is um, desiring to please you lord and so god i pray that we would just tend to our hearts today god if there's anything impure in our hearts if there's anything that shouldn't be there god i pray that you would highlight those things i pray that you would help us god to chase you and to chase the things that you have for our hearts and our lives today lord god and i just pray your blessing, your favor, your grace, your goodness, your kindness to be seen in our lives today. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody said, amen, amen. Well, thank you for joining me today, my friend. I'm going to rush off and catch my flight back to Melbourne. I hope you're doing great wherever you are, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for the next installment of our daily devotions. I'll catch you then. Bye.